Imagine you cough into your smartphone and that could give you the assessment of your lung quality within seconds. Well, that's been made a reality by a Hyderabad based company that developed an award winning software which is now being touted as an early step for early detection of respiratory diseases. And all you need to do for that is cough thrice onto your smartphone. The print brings you this story from the IT hub of Hyderabad. Meet Swasa an artificial intelligence driven software that can assess if human lungs are abnormal using an algorithm and all it takes is a user to cough thrice near the phone Swasa which won the prestigious Anjani Mashilkar award for innovation in November is developed by Hyderabad based Salsit Technologies Salsit founder Narayan Rao Shripada's interaction with a professor at All India Institute of Medical Sciences 5 years ago was the foundation for this innovation. Software as a medical device, it's like any other device which you typically use, say for example to monitor BP, BP monitoring device or a glucose monitoring device. This is a device for assessing the status of your lung, whether the lungs are good or there is something wrong. So all that you need is a mobile phone and provide some symptoms information and cough into the mobile and it will tell you how good your lungs are, whether you have low risk or a medium risk or a high risk. Based on that, you, know, you can take an appropriate action. So you know, first of all, the data is completely secured and um, we are HIPAA and ISO 27000 compliant from security and post privacy perspective. Once we collect the data, it all goes to the cloud where we analyze and decode the cough pattern. Based on the cough pattern, we will try to say whether there is any abnormality. And as I mentioned earlier, we will try to provide very simple information to the user, but detailed information is available to the doctor or a health practitioner. So, user will come to know where am I in terms of my lung health. But doctor will know whether a particular patient has an underlying obstructive lung disorder or restrictive lung disorder or does he have likely presence of chiral process or a COVID. Based on that, doctor can really request patient to visit the nearest health center at the earliest to get the next uh, so, uh, next uh, investigation done. It can be an X-ray or it can be a spirometry test and so So how does Swasa work? It is not a consumer-based software, meaning anyone cannot randomly download the app and start using it. It is designed for health workers or medical teams who can check a person's lung health using a smartphone. Once the software is installed on the phone, health workers can create a profile of the patient, fill in basic details such as name and age, and then either generate a link to the user or test a person's lung health on their own phone. <coughs> the team also devised a lung health index with the help of doctors as a parameter to assess the condition of lungs. For instance, anything below 3 indicates no risk or normal lungs and anything above 8 would mean lungs are at a risk. To develop the algorithm, the team used acoustics of cough sounds. Different types of cough sounds were collected from Nizam Institute of Medical Sciences, which was also part of the project, to understand what kind of information a certain type of cough sound carries. Parameters such as frequency, amplitude were analyzed. Essentially, the science is cough carries vital information about the respiratory system. And uh, first of all, cough is an explosive expulsion of air coming out of your airways. The glottis behaves very differently for uh, different respiratory problems, making it possible to distinguish cough originating from these different conditions. So based on that premise, we have developed our device which is which uses the artificial intelligence and machine learning to understand the signature in the cough and eventually decode that signature to identify the problem. And how, how did you collect the cough samples for initial data? <clears throat> so we collected a lot of data from 
institutes like Nizam Institute of Medical Sciences, Apollo Research and Fund, uh, Apollo Hospitals, Andhra Medical College, and various other medical colleges. All the data what we have collected comprises a mix of patients, outpatients who are visiting the hospital, uh, inpatients who are inside the hospital, and from people who are visiting rural health centers in the community settings. So we have collected this data and we have completely annotated our data set. What kind of data is this? So this is primarily the patient symptoms information like you know does he has uh, you know, frequent cough okay does he has a sputum like that kind of a symptoms information and the cough recording it's a 10 second cough is what we need it's a solicited cough okay and uh, yeah i mean this is just all that i mean this, it's a cough plus symptoms information and the the the, the patient's age and uh, gender this is what is we need to really provide an output the cough has a unique signature, so we exploited that principle and uh, we collected the data and trained our algorithms to really understand the different signature for different conditions. Mm. Once the algorithm got trained, then as the new cough comes in, it will try to identify to which signature it is closely matching and provide the output. That's exactly how machine learning works. You know, so the mechanism of cough is different. I mean, basically, for example, you know, when a person is not able to breathe in enough air, mm. then you know, when he is expelling the cough, he has he does not have sufficient energy. So then the cough comes out to be more weak, and he might actually take a lot of pauses in between when he is giving the cough. But whereas, uh, you know, the, like what just I explained it for, is for diseases like interstitial lung disease. But whereas if you consider something like an airway disease, which is like an asthma, the person could expel enough energy, but because of the blockage in the airways, when he is expelled, he is doing an expulsion, he is actually taking a longer time. So he is pumping more pressure, so it is comes out to be a stronger cough, but with a longer expulsion. So that's how we will be able to distinguish a cough which is you know coming from the lower part of the lungs versus a cough which is actually coming from the airways and so on. And all this data has been fed into the... Yeah, it's, it's the algorithm trained using variety of these coughs and mm. then uh, you know, now we are able to decode as we record the cough of a patient. It took three years for the project execution and Swasa was rolled out in 2020. Currently, spirometry is one of the most common and standardized methods used to test lung health. But it requires expensive spirometers and trained technicians. In rural and remote areas where accessibility to medical care and diagnostic labs is no guarantee, this poses a challenge. And Swasa eliminates all of these concerns, says the team. What started off as a research project when founder Rao was advising a group of college students emerged into a full-fledged company project when Sarset Technologies Chief Operating Officer Manmohan Jain and CEO Venkat Yochuri joined Rao in early 2020. We, the whole software we developed, uh, we worked with Apollo Research during the, in the clinical study and took inputs from various doctors from uh, Nizam Institute of Medical Sciences and then in Apollo Research and they guided us in terms of what are the symptoms questionnaires to be asked and then well, how we determine the risk level. We believe this is a solution that can be deployed at scale and the real impact we want where is where crores of Indians are able to use this and to assess their respiratory health in a very simple, non-intrusive, non-risk way. And it doesn't require any special equipment, consumable supplies, nothing like that. And Really, in terms of public health, obviously the biggest stakeholder and player is the government and we want to collaborate and work with government and provide this so that the government can, through its means and machinery that it has, for example, the Andhra government has the village volunteers, uh, you have the ASHA workers, all of these are where systems that are already in there, we don't need to invent new systems. Existing systems, leverage them. This is a very simple thing that can be integrated into the workflow of what they are already doing. Mm -hmm. You know, so an ASHA worker is already going door to door and collecting some information. This is a simple five minutes or two minutes thing that can be integrated into that. 
Swasal Software has a no objection certificate from India's regulatory body Central Drug Standard Control Organization and is awaiting a license from the body. It has a patent not just in India but also in countries such as the United States of America and Australia. From corporates using the software to check employees health while calling them back to work to hospitals and NGOs the company has clients across sectors. Swasal is also being used at Andhra Medical College Rural Health Center. Speaking to the print, Dr. Gayatri Yelipu, formerly with Andhra Medical College, said, I quote unquote, During the validation process of the software earlier this year, we tested it on 100 people and also used it on patients after the clinical validation. The efficacy was as expected. Such kind of a software helps in early screening, which can help in quicker diagnosis. And here, the advantage is the screening process is also without any hassle. In a month, our hospital used to see at least 10 to 12 newly diagnosed cases of pulmonary tuberculosis, especially from tribal areas. And this was due to extensive damage of lung parenchyma, which could be due to delay in diagnosis due to lack of awareness. Such a software will help in early detection, but it does not end there. The next step, which is the diagnosis, is also important. The team is currently working with the Odisha government to use the software as a pilot project in a few villages. The company has written to multiple health secretaries hoping to expand their reach of work and also work with the government. Swasa team hopes to become a key contributor to Prime Minister Modi's mission of TB Mukt Bharat. This is Rishika Sadam for The Print, bringing you the story from Hyderabad. Thank <laughs> you.